Uh, we do want a message at the end, yeah. We're, yeah. we're not quite there, but if you want to do that, yes. Now, yeah, go. Because I can catch my time before my time catches me. Yeah, I think that's a First good... of all, uh, regarding, I'm just keeping tag, tag hashing you. You speak my language to understand my philosophy of thinking. If you are rising to the standard of the philosophy of thinking, you keep reversing the language backward and speak it in a way that people understand it. You got me? If you don't get me, I see you around. <laughs> you may, this is my language. <laughs> you may need to repeat that one more time so that we, if we do bump into you again, then you no, no, I say it once because <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a, a recording machine. <laughs> Take it from the recording. I think start with whenever I fell down, I go to the field. I come back, boom, booming. Okay. Whenever I feel that I, I run out of something, I go there and they energize me. This is the source of my encouragement and empowerment. Uh, if the leader is not burning, uh, if the leader is not burned out, the followers will not. It's up to the leader to keep going. That's why the Prophet ﷺ was the first to collect the wood. It was the hardest way. The first to respond in, uh, to the, vo the, the, the noise which came out when everybody waking up and what's going on, he was coming back from where he was. So the sleepless nights of the leader will keep everybody on their feet, on their toes, never burned out, okay? Uh, this is my, my response, but actually come from my message. Islam is the religion of social interaction. It is not just a statement, it's a belief. Social change and social justice. This is the cornerstone of the belief in the message of Islam social interaction, social change, and social justice. We cannot call ourselves Muslims if we don't interact. That's why the Prophet ﷺ said, Al-Muslim alladhi yukhalit al-nas wa yasbar al-adham khayrum alladhi yukhalit wa yasbar The Muslim who, 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 who mix or interact with people and become patient for their, their hardship towards him is far more better than the one who does not mix with people. My message is, now the challenge you are going to face, I'm leaving and you are staying behind, is social movement. You have to cement the fabric of the social infrastructure of the community to create the most effective social movement. We cannot afford people like yourself at your age, cannot actually create this kind of dynamic, effective, actually organized social movement to move the masses, not on emotional ground, but on intellectual ground, on philosophical ground, on value-based ground, on moral ground. You got the message, sisters and brothers, this is a challenge. We started from humanitarian, very easy, to social, but the most important and most difficult one is within the social movement, we have to talk about things that we're not doing, like advocacy, research, connection, communication, partnership, and creating leadership. It is a challenge. Go out and tell every mosque imam or mosque leader or most Islamic organization, where is the succession plan for you? Where is the succession plan? The mosque is not yours as a board member or as an imam or as a leader. The organization is not yours. You are not inherited it from your family. 
succession plan to bring the future leadership. We are recycling some of the leaders that actually we are fed up with our leadership, a leader like myself. This number two. Not like yourself, but uh, the message. No, 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 no. Let, let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> the last one is to go deep down. Now we went from the uh, 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 humanitarian to the social. I'm putting my my, my finger on your head, brother uh, Omar. To the philosophy of thinking of what is going on in his mind. I want to change the philosophy of his thinking through creating a new philosophy. And this is a challenge. This is a challenge, I'm not joking. I want to change his philosophy of thinking by creating another philosophy to change the culture surrounding us. So people should follow the philosophy of your culture to create the idea to save humanity. And this is the most difficult one. You go deep down into the heart and the mind and the soul of the human being. That's why the Prophet started as a social worker, but he went as a mentor to massage the mind and the soul and the spirit of his followers. And this is your role now. You will live to do it. You will live to do it, Sister Govan. And these 31 individuals listening to me with my finger pointing to them, you live to do it, whether you are old or young. We want, we want, we want to change the philosophy of thinking of the masses through creating new ideology to save humanity. Find the way. PhD is good, but not good enough. Master is good, but not good enough. It is the ability to see what is hidden of treasures at the back of the mind of the individuals listening to you by their hearts, by their minds, by their souls. And this is the challenge. And this is my message. If I don't see you again, you do it. How to do it, it's up to you. But you know what? When we started, we didn't know where to go but Allah took us by the hand to go where we are here today. If you do this kind of the philosophy inside the mind and the soul and the spirit of the man and the woman, put your hand in the hand of the creator and you will create the way of the new philosophy. Who can treat humanity equally? The people of Yemen, the people of uh, Azidi in Iraq, the people of Bosnia, the Ugor people, the Rohingya people, the Syrian people, Syrian children in this weather, some of them don't have tents. What social change we are making? What global or local to global we are making? If you don't want to be burned out, live the issue of others. While you're living the issue of others, you live it with others. The people in Congo, South Sudan, everywhere. This is the role we need to change, to make a new philosophy, to stop what's happening now. Difficult for you, Sister Govan, Sister Bushra, and to the 29 people listening to us, and to you, brother, Ismake Omar, but I'm confident that you will do it. And I stretch my hand to you and touch your head and say, you will do it, inshallah. Bushra. 
Barakalofik, uh, really, really wise words there and something that truly makes us reflect and, and just makes us feel that our responsibility in this world is not a small one. Um, but bi'ithnillah wa ni'ma billahi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, will provide us the tool and the, and the tawfiq to do this, inshallah. Barakalofik.